Hi everyone, I'm Swarabhi, the homeschooling mother to precious little girls age 4 and 3 and today I'm here with my 5 reasons why I love homeschooling. So the first reason, I love spending time with my girls. For me, it's not actually homeschooling. Uh, for me, it's parenting, you know. Uh, when my kids were small, uh, I taught them how to crawl, how to roll, how to feed themselves with a spoon themselves and yeah they learned themselves but still it was a journey for me and I remember when I taught my eight month old clapping and she clapped I made video and sent it to everyone and that was a parenting journey the same way it goes for learning also for me uh, like for months we are talking about colors and shapes and talking about stuff and one fine day they look at the moon I mean my young one looked at the moon while we were on a holiday and she said oh this moon is crescent and I looked at her eyes and like what did you say? And you said, it's crescent. Like, oh, you recognize the shape. So, you know, it's that kind of joys which you get when you are homeschooling them because, you know, you know that you taught them and they realized it, they learned it. And it's, it's just that joy of teaching your kid and then be part of their learning journey starting from, you know, learning to walk, learning to crawl and now learning shapes, colors, things around them, practical life, whatever. It's a parenting journey and uh, I'm so glad and grateful that, you know, I can be part of it and uh, I can enjoy it as you enjoy the childhood of a child. So, yeah. That's the first and foremost reason of me that I love homeschool, that I get to be part of their learning journey completely. Second more reason is I can teach them as per their capability. I strongly believe that a child does not uh, learn as per a curriculum, you know. A child learns in leaps. A child learns, uh, you know, at one go. At I mean, if you read Montessori, if you have learned, go through Waldorf methodology, they talk about it, that, you know, there's a phase in a child, it learns about it, it wants to know everything about it. And in some time, it just loses interest in it. And that's it. So, uh, I really do not understand how a curriculum will work where we have to go by a particular pace and particular that we can teach only this thing in this time. I don't understand how it can work with a child. And especially because I have two kids who are completely different with each other. They are only one year apart exactly but my elder one was too much good if you say academic wise and by age of three she was like awesome you know phonics uh, science or whatever you say she, she she was really awesome and here is my three-year-old my younger one who I think recognized colors at the age of three and uh, she's three and, a, I'm turn, three and a half as of now and we are far away from numbers and alphabets as of now forget about phonics so uh, I feel so grateful that I could homeschool and because it gives me a chance to go by their pace, by their interest, rather than I'm uh, being bothered at the PTA meeting that, you know, your child is lagging behind in a class, which I knew my younger one would lag as compared to the standards here in Singapore about the education. And then I'll be asked in enrichment classes because, you know, academics is really very, very big deal in Singapore and schooling. I mean, you can't even imagine how hard it is. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not bothered about that my three-year-old doesn't know phonics. I'm not bothered about my three-year-old is still struggling with some shapes. And, uh, yeah, and the same way, it goes with my four-year-old that she's much ahead of what I think a four-year-old should be. I mean, uh, if you talk to her, if you talk to her interest, uh, be it science, geography, practical skills, around everything, she's really awesome. And I'm so glad that I can get it to her interest rather than uh, being curriculum bounded. I mean, yes, she doesn't do writing. She doesn't do reading much. But if you ask about her questions and her journal knowledge and her curiosity to learn about things, I mean, I'm so grateful that I can teach her what she wants to learn or by whatever way I can uh, be as good as possible. So yeah, I get this flexibility because I homeschool and there's nothing better for my kids as of now where learning stands. So the second reason. The third reason is, uh, which was actual, the main reason we started homeschooling was the sibling bonded. Uh, my two kids are just one year apart. They are two girls. They fight like anything. Uh, they fight f uh, for my attention, they fight for their father's attention, they fight for things, they fight for everything and uh, somehow in the beginning I was very very scared when I was having my second child within just so close gap that you know how will they get used to each other and one thing uh, I mean like for every parent I feel the reason for having two kids is you know uh, 
they should be there for each other they should have a bonding with each other and uh, as i read somewhere that you know kids basically siblings should learn to live with each other rather than cope with each other and that was something which was my target uh, when i started homeschooling that you know my kids learn don't learn that's the second question but they need to learn with each learn to live with each other you know you fight you argument but then you learn compassion you learn empathy you know you have to live with your sister and uh, you need to take care of her and just learn to survive and uh, initially it was that was the only target but as the time is you know passing by now they are four and three and the kind of love the kind of bond they share i mean uh, it's beyond my imagination uh, i don't know how i was when i was a kid with uh, i mean i have a brother but uh, it just made me fall in love uh, with homeschooling because that's one of the reason because they spend all the time together they are with me most of the time they are together most of the time uh, we are traveling we are uh, at home we are playing they have to clean up their room together they have to work together whatever they have to work together and the bonding the sharing they have with each other i don't think it would have been possible if uh, we were not homeschooling because then they would have been out of the house for a long time and uh, i just love it i simply love homeschooling for this reason and the fourth uh, reason i have is that we get to spend a lot of time together as a family so uh, i don't work my husband works now and uh, I mean, like we both are working. I quit my job, so uh, only he is the one whose schedule we have to match. Uh, I understand that when kids go to school, we have to look at their vacation, we have to do their weekend programs, their enrichment classes, and uh, so many other things which come along with the school, right? Uh, they have this competition, they have that competition. We don't have anything to look up to. We just have to match to our husbands. my husband's schedule uh when he says you know i'm free on these days i can take a break okay let's plan a holiday let's travel let's go to that park or uh, you're coming early today from office great let's go this way let's explore that area so uh we get to spend a lot of time together as a family and i think this is uh the time when uh you know i've heard people parents telling when kids grow up they really don't want to be with their parents or spend time with their parents so i and my husband treat this time as really really uh, critical and precious before they grow up little too much that they don't like spending time with us so we just want to spend as much time with each other and traveling roaming laughing giggling and just be with each other as simple as that and the first point is that uh, i believe uh, which i realized also that uh, kids get influenced too soon at this age you know uh, they're too young they're just observing uh, their thought process is still building up they are uh, observing and making a belief based on what they are looking at and uh, so because we home school i am the primary influencer in their life in their beliefs in their thought process and second to my husband because he spends less time with them as compared to me but apart from that it's no one else no one a very adult who is controlling or you know telling them something which i am not aware about you know uh, i mean i believe then my when my kids will go to school there will be a teacher who will be telling that this is right this is wrong i'm not telling that uh, a teacher is wrong but i'm still a uh, parenting everybody knows is so controversial there are so many uh, thought processes around uh, there were so many philosophies around of parenting and i'm somewhere like i'm the parent my rules are the final rules so uh, at this age i think till the age of 5 and 6 till they do up their own thought processes very completely i will be very privileged and feel responsible that you know if they learn good habits is because of me or my husband and if they learn bad habits it's because of me and my husband and believe me they are learning bad habits because we have a lot of bad habits and so as a family we are working to improve our lifestyle our food habits our uh, you know talking uh, the way we talk the way we work or you know our daily life they are learning everything from us so as a family we are developing and as a family we are working in sync of you know how we want our kids to be and how we have to be uh because you know kids are following you so 
but still i feel very thankful that you know in this age when you know uh, you know outside things are so bad some things are really really terrible when you look outside uh, i'm the one who is controlling what they're watching what they're observing and in case they observe something which is uh, against my philosophy or against uh, a normal childhood i'm the one uh, who can take care of it i can really take care of it uh, for example uh, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not talking about any parenting being wrong, but when we go outside, we see many things which are against our parenting philosophy. And my kids question me that, you know, why are you doing it? See, that child is not doing it. Their parents are pretty cool. They're not doing it. And I'm like, no, this is not the way. And I explain with the reason that this is why we do this kind of thing. And they get it. They get it because uh, it's how I get to talk to them. And they believe me because... I'm the only adult they, uh, they look up to. They don't have any other adult to look up to and whom they believe more than me. So, yes, that helps me a lot. And this is somewhere is shaping up their personalities. And I feel very thankful that I have homeschooled, uh, at least till the age of five or six, where I can uh, help them bringing up the personalities I wish they uh, would be good for them when their lifestyle is be their eating habits, be their uh, behavior, be their social habits. So that's a reason. Uh, so that's all is the five homeschooling, love homeschooling reasons I have. And uh, let me know why you love to homeschool and how you feel about it. And see you later. Bye-bye.